Brendan's Bridge. On the 13th of January 2021, the Charity Commission ratified and agreed our name change to Brendan's Bridge. The road to this name change was built on months of hard work, administration, and dare I say, anguish. We are so pleased that this name change will reflect our new charitable aims, beneficiaries, and reach of our services. The charity within its planning for a reboot did not plan to be launching itself and promoting a new service within a pandemic. We found ourselves stepping up to provide critical support to people facing complex social issues, supporting people who face heightened risks around COVID-19, such as people with mental ill health, people who are more vulnerable to being infected because of weakened immune systems due to dependency, young people with mental ill health, or individuals affected by domestic abuse for whom staying at home or self-isolation heightens risk and harm. More people are seeking our help and their needs are multi-layered. We have had to rapidly adjust how we operate, turning services and support that were all about social contact into something online and remote. This required more resources, time, expertise and equipment. Fortuitously, we have been active in local communities for many years and our visible community practitioners were able to utilize within the charity our specialist knowledge, expertise and rootedness in communities to ensure that we were able to reach and respond to some of the highest risk individuals which other agencies fail to reach. The charity also increased the range of support they are providing including around increasing mental ill health and anxiety and meeting immediate basic needs, particularly around food, finance and loneliness. Youth work support and mentoring remains the core of our activities and we have also been keeping as many of our wellbeing group activities running as we can virtually via Zoom and other platforms. This includes virtual creative sessions such as arts and crafts, and we are now looking at options around a virtual drop-in, remote yoga sessions, and a range of other activities. We are trialing a variety of interventions, and this is uncharted territory, but with the right amount of creativity and equipment, we are confident that we can continue to provide remote services to help people at a time when they need support the most. We are excited about our future. Love from Jackie and Jane.